Okay. All right. All right. I am, you guys, I am so fired up tonight. Um, first of all, let me tell you what today was for lack of a better word, a shit show <laughs> for me um, on my travels home. Um, but I have to tell you guys this. Uh, I was really, so this morning I got up and I um, got packed up and told my goodbyes to everybody that I saw. And then I went to the airport and I dropped my millionaire's award and it shattered. And those, uh, some of you guys knew that because you watched the video this morning. Some of you didn't, some of you couldn't watch it. Cause I was like upset and that was a struggle. Um, but anyways, when I got off the airplane, this is, well, let me, two things happened. So after I dropped it, um, I, I went to my knees and I bawled my eyes out, but you want to know what? I had so much fire in my belly. The two ladies that tried to help me got my card. Okay. What was the award? What is it? What are you coming from? They started asking questions. I gave them my business cards. Every single person on here that does not have business cards, gosh darn it, get some business cards, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you what, I can't tell you how many times I've given somebody a business card and maybe they didn't friend me right away, but they eventually did friend me. So moving forward, okay, I get out of that line. I go stand in line to go into security and the line was ridiculous. I called my husband and told him and honestly, guys, I was having a panic attack. Like I was, <gasps> couldn't breathe, having a panic attack. I was super upset because it just happened, right? Well, after I got off the phone with my husband and this guy in front of me in line, I'd say probably like maybe early 30s, I don't know, maybe late 20s. I don't care. I don't care who he was, what he did. This man turned around and he said, you seem really upset. And I just wanted to see if you are right. He said, it sounds like you lost something very important to you. And he was just like, you know, I'm traveling and, it, you know, are, are you okay? And I was like, absolutely. I'm, I'm okay. I'm just, and I told him I was having a little bit of a panic attack. And you guys, he just started talking to me about how he traveled to Texas to see his family, how he was going back home to North Carolina. The gentleman was so kind and so nice. Um, I, I had to part ways cause I went to priority and he went, um, and like the other line and I asked him what his name was and I shook his hand and I thanked him for being so kind to me. And, um, he got a business card too, by the way. Okay. <laughs> then I got on the airplane and I gave out a business card to the lady that was sitting next to me. I gave out a business card to the stewardess. I was literally like back to old Amanda where I wasn't afraid to talk about it. I wasn't afraid to share it because I knew the power of what this could do for us. You know, coming out of this weekend, I remember my first conference that I ever went to, I came out and I literally was like, whoosh, everybody knew the business I was in. Everybody knew what I was doing. Everybody knew that I was excited. Everybody knew that I believed in what I was doing and stood behind it. Everybody that was in like touching distance to me knew what I represented and who I was. And I thought about that today and I actually had a time hop. I'm going to show you guys. Um, and I just made a post about, you know, me being Years ago in another company, um, I'm thankful for that company because if not, I wouldn't have met many of the people that I now have in my life and on my journey. And I learned a lot. I, you know, I had a good time, a good run there. Um, but my goals and things changed, but I want to show you guys something because most people don't make it to that five year mark, right? Most people do not make it to the five years in network marketing. And I want every single person to say, yes, 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 yes. It's a new day one for everyone. Okay. It's a new day one for everyone. And I want to show you the importance of what people say. They say, give it five years and it will change your life. Right? Well, those five years, I have been freaking consistent, 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 um, and just growing as a person, growing as a mom, a leader, a friend, a wife, I mean, all of the above. Five years ago today, I want you guys to see something. I went to conference this same year, only three months, three months before that, okay? Three months before this, what I'm going to show you. And three months later, this is what happened to my life. So every single person right now, this is what you have the ability. Now, obviously not the same ranks or goals or anything like that, but I want to show you this three years or five years ago today in January, 2014, I went to this conference in February. I earned a $10,000 bonus in March. I earned a $15,000 bonus 
in April, I earned a $25,000 bonus of $50,000 in bonuses over a three month time span. Okay. This little girl, well, not so little, but girl from West Virginia that didn't know very many people. Okay. I want each and every one of you guys to understand that each person that was on that stage, every person that was on that stage had the same opportunity that you have. I heard somebody say it yesterday and I can't remember who said it. I think it was Stacy. I'm pretty sure it was Stacy. She said, Maria, who was the first fig Maria. eight figure earner, she had, you guys, she has the exact same products that we have. She had the exact same products that we have. She just opened her mouth and shared it. And she just kept on going and she kept on talking and she kept on sharing. And you know, guys, the reality of it is, is that it is somewhat about your network. So right now your network, if it is not a strong network, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. If social media is not your forte and you are just, you're doing all the work. I'm not saying, listen, listen, we got to have a heart to heart here for just one second. And then Talissa and Kayla are on tonight and guys, they are going to give you some hot tips. You know how Kayla and Talissa are. Um, they're just going to bring straight fire to you guys, but I got to share this first. Okay. Um, there's a reality check that each person needs to have when it comes to this business. Um, you cannot say your business is not working if you are not networking. You understand me? You cannot say your business is not working if you're not networking. If you're not adding constantly valuable friends, like friends that are actually people that are going to relate to you, which means that you need to bring value in order to attract those value friends, right? So you need to bring some value to your timelines and you need to bring some value to your life. Go out there and volunteer for something. Go out there and get part of the community. Go out there and put something together. You guys, I had girls that used to do food drives, that used to do all kinds of stuff. And we can do so much. I see so many of you guys involved in so many different organizations. Um, I think of Annalise, you know, she's really, really big into um, just, you know, making sure animal cruelty and things like that, right? So because she's involved in that kind of stuff, there are things that she can do that also will benefit her community that will also help her reach new people and also help her expand her network just from the people and the things that she gets involved in. Right. And here's the thing is that there's so many things that even though um, not all of our products are going to align with that, but when you look and you, you dig deep, you can see that you can see the diamonds in the rough guys. You can see the diamonds in the rough and when you can see the opportunity and you can see that, you can see past that, right? So I just, I want to encourage all of you guys that get out there and network. If it's not social media, um, Jessica Kurtwright sent me a message earlier today, um, a couple, about an hour and a half ago when I was at my daughter's dance class. Um, and she said, Amanda, I don't know if anybody said this yet. She said, but with the skincare line and, and guys, we haven't had the ability to do this. Now when my last company, you could take somebody and you could have like a party or get together or something like that. And you could see immediate results with stuff, right? Whoa, the skincare results are blowing my ever loving mind. And I said this last night on Stacy's zoom and I don't know if um, everybody was on it or not, but I'll say it again right now. Um, the reality of it is, is that seeing is believing. Okay. When people see it or they feel it, they believe it. Okay. And Jessica said today, she said, what about like bringing in, um, doing, you know, when you have a thrive after five or you have a local, a living room local, which guys is just like a party, like a little get together where you invite some people over and you share the products. Right. Like I am thinking because I was in my skincare company last time, right? Like people would do, um, like a spa and wine night, right? I know Kayla's shaking her head and she's probably, I probably said that and she's going to like bring that up here in just a second. Um, because Kayla thrives, literally thrives on home parties. That's how she bit, built her last business. Okay. So I want you guys to think outside the box and start getting some stuff ready. Listen, vendor events, do a trial, show people, right? When people come by, you put a little on their hand, let them feel, they see it. They'll see those wrinkles. Like, 
start to diminish. They'll see the luminosity. They'll see all of that happening. If they do it on their face, they're going to wake up the next day and be like, holy shit, I need more of that stuff. Like this is incredible, right? So I want you guys to understand that what just happened, what just was released is huge. And I don't want to hear anybody complain about the price. Whatever the price is, it's going to be fine, right? I'm expecting it to be somewhere, somewhere close to the Thrive experience. If it's less than that, Woo yay, we're going to celebrate, right? If it's more than that, we're going to suck it up and we're going to deal with it because I'm going to tell you right now, I've, I've been one of the people that has spent $200 on road and fields. I've been one of the people that has spent, I mean, I cannot even tell you on 20 million different things that didn't even give the kind of results that I saw yesterday. Um, $36 on appeal, $26 or $25 or whatever the hell it was, $33 on face wash, um, on different night and day creams. And this is a night and day cream in one. Like I have spent so much money on so much of these products that are just going to blow people's minds um, when they actually try them right? So I can tell you guys, everybody wants to be younger. Everybody wants to feel good. Everybody wants to have energy. Everybody wants to lose weight. I mean, well, not everybody wants to lose weight, but everybody wants to be healthy, right? Let's not even say like lose weight or be healthy. And the skincare is not going to make you lose weight. Okay. Let's just keep that clear. It's not going to cure your anxiety. It's not going to make your headaches go away. I mean, I guess it could if your like head is like pounding from looking at yourself, but I'm just serious, right? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't help myself. But the reality of it is, is that I am fired up and I, I have to say, um, I'm most fired up because of your guys's energy. Um, it wasn't just, I wasn't able to meet everybody at conference. Like I wish I could have. Um, I was, I was really tired yesterday, guys. I literally went to my room at like two o'clock and propped my feet up and I was in my room the rest of the night. I ordered Uber Eats twice. Okay. Twice. Um, because I literally was just super duper exhausted. And this was the first trip I had taken since we, um, since my surgery and I really hadn't walked a whole lot before then. So my feet are like the size of Texas, literally <laughs> like they were huge and they are still huge right now. Um, and I, I just, I want you guys to understand that there are so many people growing right now in this, on this team. And there's some of you guys that are feeling kind of stuck, right? You're kind of stuck. Now is the time to catch that fire. Now is the time to kind of say, you know what? why not me? You know what? Why not me? That's how I felt years ago. Why the hell not me? So then I started doing those actions, those intentional actions, those daily get up and interact, daily get up and add new friends, daily get up and make my business my priority, my team, my priority. I've sent out some messages today. I haven't been able to message everybody because I was driving home and I was on an airplane. Um, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. My story, because you guys know I'm ADHD. Okay, I can't help it. So when I got off the plane today, I had a very amazing message that I want to share. Okay, that I want to share with you all because there's nothing said in the message that anybody can't hear, but I think it's important for you to hear. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm going to. I'll put it on speaker. Hold on. I guess it would help if I didn't hit it. Hey, Amanda, it's true. Sitting here at the airport, getting ready to fly home and reflecting on this weekend, which was absolutely amazing in so many respects. And I wanted to reach out to you directly and say thank you for uh, being on stage, doing such a great job on stage. Your, your team, your group absolutely rocked it. You all gave people some really, really helpful tips and connected with the crowd in a way that's really important and not easy to do, to be completely honest. So thank you so much for this weekend. More importantly, though, thank you for your continued leadership, loyalty. Uh, the company is very lucky to have you, grateful to have you, and so excited about what we all have in front of us. I could not, I truly, I don't think I could be more excited about what's coming up in the coming days, weeks, months. And um, Yeah, so keep rocking and rolling. We'll talk soon. Have a great week. All righty, bye.
I wanted to share that with you guys because I have never, ever, ever in the history of the six years that I've been in this industry felt the kind of love and passion coming from not only our team, but corporate. Okay. And I shared that with you guys because Drew sees what's happening on our team. He sees the people within our team that are just seriously showing up. All of you guys that came to conference, trust me, they looked at that list. Okay. They are watching. Why? Because they know that we mean business. They know that we're leading from the heart. They know that we are representing a whole new realm of what to expect in network marketers from leading from a place of actually caring about people and caring about the fact that it's not just about me, guys. That was not about me. That is a reflection of you all, okay? That I might be one person, but you all are what make me the leader that I am, okay? And, and listen, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know and that I have to grow and that I need to work on. But you know what? Drew didn't know about my, my plaque, uh, my thing, okay, shattering. At that time, he actually called Jamie after he called me. And Jamie told him about my thing. So at six o'clock this evening, I receive another phone call from Drew. And I answer it. And he said, I don't want you to think one more second about that. Okay. I'm sending you a new one this week. And I was in tears, just absolutely in tears because, you know, that plaque when I look at it, it represents so much more. It represents what you guys mean to me, right? And it's not about the dollar amount that I make. That is just a goal, all right? That's, that was a goal to hit that. I'm not stopping. Have you seen me, like, I mean, besides the fact I had that surgery and I suck on the 6 a.m. right now. I mean, Brittany, just so you know, ask Stacy, Giselle, Nikki, and Lacey, how hard I was to wake up in the mornings. Okay. <laughs> like for real, it's, it's, it's a really big struggle right now. Um, but I, I just want each one of you guys to know that you are so appreciated. You are so needed on this team. You are wanted on this team. I want to see so many of you step into that leadership role because I can promise you when you step into those leadership roles, you are going to attract those people. Okay, you're going to attract the people that you want on your team. I have seen it over and over, over again. I just got off the phone, well, messenger with twin and she doesn't even, she's like mind blown with what's happening right now within her organization. I am counting in the fact that I can see four people on her team that are, will be at 200 K before the end of the year, like over a hundred and something thousand and, and, and QV and they are just not slowing down, right? But why is that? It, you guys, they are doing these 6 a.m. power hours every day, every single day. And it's different leaders that are doing it. It's not just twin, it's other leaders breaking off and their teams are doing it. And listen, 6 a.m. might not be your thing, okay? So what, do seven, do eight, do nine. I mean, I found out that 6 a.m. is a little tough on me. <laughs> I'm going to try tomorrow, Brittany. We'll try. Okay. One try. Um, but my real, the reality of it is, is that it doesn't matter if it's a six. It doesn't matter if it's a five. It doesn't matter if it's a seven or if it's eight or at nine. It's a matter of if you're getting it done. Right. And, and if you don't see people doing a power hour, you guys message me, message me and you, I will give you my username and password for you to do a power hour. And then you start doing them, right? You say, you know what, guys, post it on Level Up or Pay Setters or whatever. Who wants to do a power hour at 3 p.m.? Stacy does them all the time in the afternoons, guys. All the time she posts random ones in the afternoons. People could do them at night. If people want to do them at night, we used to do them at night all the time. Whatever works for you, pick a time, grab some friends, and just jump on the ball. Just jump on it. What do you do on the power hour? You pull out a list and you all hustle to get it done, right? You can play music. I like to play music. It keeps me on the go. Um, some people like to play um, audibles. Some people like to play YouTube videos. Whatever is your fancy, just get the work done, right? 
Um, Talissa and Summer Love do them every, well, they're doing Monday, Tuesday, and I think Thursday. Is that right, Talissa? This week at 8 a.m. Central. So that is 9 a.m. Eastern. Um, I know, Talissa, you posted it in Level Up. Did you post it on Pace Setters too? No? Maybe post it there too. And that will, that way, you know, anybody that wants to join in guys, the more the merrier. I don't care what team you're on. I don't care any of that because the reality of it was like I told my husband, um, when I got home, I said, you know, there were a crap ton of people from our team, but there were a crap ton of people from my sidelines that I just absolutely look up to love. And I can't wait to see on that stage just as much as each one of you guys. So with that said, I could talk all night. In fact, for the last 21 minutes, just babbling, babbling, babbling all about that. Um, let me just let Kayla and Talissa start running their mouths and share because they're way more organized and they are going to lift you up and make you want to run. I just am, I'm just, I'm just overly excited and overly grateful um, to be here right now with this explosion that's coming. Okay, Kayla. Yeah, no, I am like, it is insane how excited I am. Guys, I have not been, like this was my first conference with Lavelle. But not only that, my conference with my previous company, I went there and I left there knowing I was leaving them pretty much. So like this was my first conference where I left like feeling this good. And on our way home, me and Talissa, we um, drove, well, I dropped her off, but anyways, we left Dallas together. And I just told her, I was like, I don't remember feeling this excited. And it just took us back really fast. We started doing messaging sprees, which we like, I loved when Billy Holderby said millions are made in messenger. Only 1% of people see your post. What about the other 99%? That's who we get in messenger. So we started messaging like crazy on Instagram, on Facebook, and just getting the word out Talissa was signing people in the car, get, putting in a $200 kit. Like, and it just, it reminded me so much of just what I've been missing. So before I want to share my aha moment from conference with y'all really fast. And then I'm going to see, um, I'm going to see which way we want to go with that. But hold on, let me find this. I had it pulled up. And can we just all say real quick, congratulations to Kayla for making it into the next um, Thrive in Magazine that is now published and released that I had to keep sh my mouth shut for like the past few months that I knew about, but it is so deserving, girl, so deserving. And to see you also get to walk on stage and receive that you know, plaque with you having the magazine um, plated in there and everything. It was amazing. But also, you guys, this is something that Kayla had on her vision board for the last seven years um, to not only be on stage um, once, but she was on stage twice for also 200K. And I have zero doubt that we will also see her get that Millionaire's Award as well. So, okay. All right. I'm done. Go. No, I mean, that's, I'm good. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to talk about that just for like two seconds. Guys, it has, it's been on my dream board for seven years. Talissa has been with me for like the last six. So she has seen how many times I've got so close. She has seen me get frustrated. I would compare myself with others that got to be in the magazine that got to walk the stage. Um, I would beat myself up horrible self talk to myself. Like, well, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I don't deserve it. Maybe I'm not worthy. You know, all these things. So when Whenever I walked the stage, whenever I was lining up on the stage, um, lining up to go on stage, I was looking out at the audience and I was like, okay, you know, soak this in. This is what you've been waiting for. Look at that crowd of 20,000. You better get excited. Like, this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. And I wasn't nervous. I was 100% excited. I get up there, I'm holding my plaque. And all of a sudden, every, I'm not an emotional person. The emotions hit me. And it's like seven years, seven years of just fighting and grinding and falling and failing and getting back up and seeing your entire team quit and, you know, getting up again and all that stuff. It just, it all hit me in that moment. And so here I come off the stage and there's Amanda and Jamie and Lisa and they're all there. And so I'm just crying anyways. Yeah, it was, it was a moment, <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all so much. I still can't, it's still unreal to me. So this was my aha moment. It was when the woman was on stage and she was telling her story. P.S. 
people learn, are inspired, are motivated by stories. I have said this for forever. I'm constantly telling stories. Um, so whenever she, whenever any of our speakers got up there and told their story, I think that's why we leave inspired and that's why we leave motivated. But this specific story, it was the one that did the eco challenge where she basically was on a team of four, went over 300 miles nonstop through crazy terrain, through the jungle, you know, all that stuff. So this was what she said. She said, it's not the mountains, but the pebbles that trip you up. 300 miles and a grain of sand that was ignored was what caused blisters and the blisters are what brings you to a screeching halt. That was it for me. Because how many times does something small get under my skin or something small bother me or something small bring me to a stop when I could reach out to, you know, somebody to get another eyes view or to get, you know, whatever the case may be. I mean, there's so many different ways you can view that. But in my history of network marketing, I can say it's the small things that almost made me stop. And whenever they were ignored, it just got worse and worse and worse. So that was my big aha moment from conference. I'm sure that y'all have seen recaps and stuff. Talissa, I'm going to throw it over to you to see what you want to say, because I don't, do you want to dig in guys? Our entire business was built with in-home parties. So I was, we're going to be doing facial and wine parties is what we're doing. And I was going to give some tips on how we did that in the past, but what do you want to say first? Her screen is frozen. She might have got kicked off, but she'll get back on. Oh, there she is. Nope. Can you hear me? Kind of. Can you hear me? Kind of, a little. Okay, can you hear me now? A little yeah. bit better. <laughs> oh my god I swear my house is so weird when somebody turns on the microwave my wi-fi goes crazy like I'm not even lying and they were microwaving <laughs> anyways I'm so sorry so what did you say um I, I didn't hear anything out there. I'm gonna pass it to Talissa <laughs> oh, no. okay so I was going to kind of dive into you know the facial and wine tips and how we built booked parties off parties how we <laughs> had 100% success rate, how we did stations. But before we got into that, is there anything from conference, like an aha moment or something like that that you want to share? Yeah, I mean, guys, I had so many aha moments. And I, one thing I want to touch on before I get go into this, because I know the live option was an option to where you guys could watch conference from home. And a lot of people chose to go that route, either A, because they had to, they didn't have any other choice. And B, there was choices that you could have come to conference, but you chose to stay home and watch it live instead. Okay, there's those two type of people. And I want to speak to those type of people that chose to stay at home and watch the live event. There is a big difference in sitting in a room full of the energy and the excitement and the crowd. Yes, it's a lot of people. And I know that's overstimulating sometimes to some people. But you guys, a few days ago, probably like a week ago, I finally was at my lowest of lows and I messaged Kayla. And I was like, Kayla, I don't know what's wrong with me. We've been in network marketing for six years. Six years? Since I've been in network marketing since 2013. And I was like, I'm doing everything every single day that I'm supposed to do. I'm posting. I'm doing my stories. You know, I'm checking in every once in a while um, with people and stuff like that. And people, it's working. People are messaging me. People are this. But I have no desire to message them back. And I'm being 100% raw and real with you guys. I have no desire to message them back. And you guys, this is my full-time income. And, and it happens. Some people hit those low where they're just, man, I don't want to do it. You know, I don't want to do it. And I was like, fix me, Kayla. What is wrong with me? What do I do? You know, help me. What do I do? And she was like, Talissa, wait till this weekend wait till this weekend, wait till you go and see what happens. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know about events. I know this, I know that, but I want, I need to fix now. How do I fix me now? And she was like, you know, you need to borrow other people's excitement, you know, this, that, and that. And I'm like, no, I, that, I, no, that's not, I don't think that's going to fix me. And she, <laughs> we went back and forth and finally was like, okay, I'm going to keep doing the do every day. 
and I'll go this weekend and we'll see what happens. And you guys, um, I went this weekend and you guys, something about being in a room, feeling the energy and the excitement, hearing things that I hear all the time when I'm on Zooms and stuff. I mean, we're on Zooms right now. You guys are listening to us right now. It's things that some things you hear over and over again. But there is a difference when your butt is in that seat and you're around the excitement of other people and your neighbor next to you is shaking you like, oh my God, did they just say that? Or yes, girl, yes. You know, there is a difference in being there and watching it at home or just being on these Zooms. So I'm just going to urge you guys to really get yourself somewhere. If you can't get to a convention or a conference or a local, call people local to you, whether it's your sponsor or it's um, some promoters. Group up and start doing things together. And I know that's what fills my cup. And that's what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start reaching out because I need that in-person interaction as much as I possibly can, because that's what fills my cup. And I'm going to tell you, I came out of there today. I came out of there yesterday, so on fire and ready to take over the world, just like I did back in 2013. And I hit top ranks in 30 days. And, and that's what it takes is getting yourself out of your comfort zone and trying and getting in the seat, in the seat. So I just urge you guys to get your butt in the seat. There was so much that um, was ahas for me, you guys, so much excitement. Um, <clears throat> one thing that, um, I love the first girl. Her name is Erin Gargan King. And it's E-R-I-N, her last name, Gargan. And her, and her other last name is King. She's a social media guru. I'm sure you guys have seen, like, the link where you can download her stuff. But her wording helped me out a lot. I work on a lot of my business on social media. But one thing that me and uh, Pitch Slap for real, one thing me and Kayla are going to talk about is, um, is, is getting in person with somebody. But she helped so much on her, on her wording um, and changing up her wording. But one tip that I also got from, um, I can't even remember who said it, and I, I'm sorry. But you know how when somebody asks you, like, hey, what's that, what's that sticker thing? And you're like, oh, my God, you haven't heard of this? And then you revert back to when you first tried it. Well, before Thrive, I was this, that, and the third. And then, da 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 you've done lost them. You literally have like 10 seconds. So one thing that really hit home for me is don't tell them right then and there when they ask you about what happened way back when years ago. Tell them what happened this morning. Tell them what happened this morning instead of what happened years or months ago. Because that's going to bring it to the table. Like if somebody would have asked me today, just for example, to help you out. If somebody would have asked me today, like, hey, what's the sticker? This thing right here, girl, let me just tell you, I came home from Dallas last night. I didn't get much sleep. I woke up this morning, put this bad boy on, and I was good to go. Are you like, do you need more energy? Do you need to feel better? Like, just something short to the sweet, packed to the punch. Talk about last night and this morning. Don't go back years ago, because then we end up throwing up on people. Then we tell them about how we were, how we found this, and then how we feel now. You've done lost them. Talk about what happened this morning. Guess what? This morning is fresh in your mind. And if you replay how you felt last night and how you felt this morning after you took your one, two, three, how exciting are you going to get? You're going to be like, hmm, insert thinking emoji. Man, I, I did feel like crap. Now it feels like so much better. You know what I'm saying? Like, so <clears throat> that was a big, big, big tip to me. You guys, when they announced the skincare, how I launched myself into my business, and we are not a party company. Um, there's so much that I have. I seriously filled this whole notebook full of stuff, you guys. But um, how I built so quickly is in person, in person interaction, not only talking to people, but you guys realize you're going to have two separate different people to market to now. You're going to have your thrivers, your customers, your people really into health and wellness. Then you're going to have a market that could care less about taking vitamins but they sure don't toot and care about their face, okay? And they're just going to want skincare. And, and that's okay. And you guys all have to be okay with that because we love the Thrive experience, so we're going to try to get them to thrive with us, but they might not want to. They just want that skincare. So I'm going to tell you, I am so loving that we're going to have our own skincare website. So if you have that person that is interested in skincare, you are going to have your own Lavelle skincare website to direct them to it's not going to be your regular one two three 
So I love, love, love that. Um, you guys, I grew so fast, and this is what I used to do. I used to do facial and wine parties. So what I would do is I would tell my friends, and they would tell their friends, I'd be like, girl, I need you to do me a favor. And this is something that you guys can do. So if you want to write down my wording, girl, I need you to do me a favor. I got this new product. I'm freaking stoked about it. I want you to go call your mom, your sister, your friend, and have her bring a few friends over. I'm going to bring the wine treats on me. Okay. I'm going to bring this product over and let, let me try it on on you guys. Okay. And they bring their friends over. Now there's two options that in my head is spinning to do this. So depending on our price point, um, apply, and we're just going to do hand. You can get those little clear deals, but do a hand and do the peel. When I did the peel, you guys, my skin was rolling off in little balls. The, the peel is a gel. It's completely clear. There's no beads. There's no granules. There's no nothing. And my skin was peeling off. That's a visual to somebody. They're going to be like, oh my God, that's a clear gel. And it's like peel, literally peeling off my skin. Okay, this is working. Take that off. You put the corrector on. Then you put the moisturizer on. Have them feel their dry hand to their soft hand. Now I want you to imagine this on your face. They're going to be like, holy cannolis, I need, I need all of this right now. And here's what's awesome. When you do these in-home things, you can make them fun. You can play games. I've played games with this. But also, that person that is hosting this, you guys, um, can see that Sally and their sister both want it. So guess what? I can get my skincare for free the next month. I get my kit now, they get their kit, and guess what? My friends are right here. Boom. They see that they can thrive for free. Well, thrive skin for free. You know what I'm saying? But there's also a different way that I have thought to where you could charge like five to ten dollars and actually do a full face. Um, so there's different ways that you can do this. Work it to your liking and when we get a price point and we can get some more information just my head spinning i'm thinking i'm going back to facial and wine parties i'm going back to getting in the home and talking about skincare me wearing my dft why we're chit-chatting talk about the one two three but really focus in on hit hone in on that skincare yeah i mean guys with these facial and wine parties you're going to be walking out and someone's going to be going vip 800 right there like i want you to understand what like we would have 100% success rate at our parties everybody there would sign up and here's some things that we would do we made our parties super duplicatable like we broke it down to an exact science on what we needed to do how we needed to have it set up here's one of the things we do we would have different stations station one was the sign-in station that's where they would we as soon as they came in hey so if you're here there's the sign-in sheet just put your name there and fill it out and then you know okay the reason why we do that, that sign-in sheet comes home with us. There's a spot for their name, there's a spot for their number, and then whatever else you want to put out there with it. But that sheet is coming home with me. That way I have a way to text them, call them, message them, add them on Facebook, and everything else. Okay, so that's station one. Station two, it depends on how you're going to do your party. But I really... I mean, we've been going over so many different ways to do this, but you can break it down. I would just make sure that you have a sign-in sheet for a follow-up. And then, Talissa, do you want to share one of the games? Because one of the things we love to do is booking parties off of parties. Because one of the biggest questions is, well, how do you book parties? Well, we would make sure that we booked at least three parties off of one party. So do you want to share your game that you did? Sure. One thing that was really successful for me is, you know those Mardi Gras beads? You can go get them at your local Dollar General, and they come in like a pack of however many for a doll hair. Well, you would go get them, and you would put these beads, and say you get like three bags. Get three little gift bags, put like a candle or a little lotion. You could put free product in there, like plus line products, whatever you want to. Three little gift bags, make them look super cute and fancy, right? You're going to set them up. All the girls are going to be like, what are those? How do we get those? And it's like, we're actually going to have a host game. So the host is actually can win this. And so you put the Mardi Gras beads on the host. And you guys are having fun, all this. At the beginning of the party, I say no pressure at all, but your friend Sally right here, she can earn these gifts. And what she's going to do is her doing this, um, she's getting her face done for free. So just say, for instance, we end up doing full faces, okay? And I charge somebody 5 to $10. The host, if she has four friends or three friends that pay, I'm going to do her face for free. 
So I tell them, by you guys showing up and getting this, she's getting hers free. Well, also, she can earn these free gifts. But here's the kicker, you guys. If you decide you're having so much fun and you know your mom and your sister that want to do this too and to try this and you know would love it, um, if you do this at your house, I'll do this for you too. And so the the host wants to get rid of her beads. So the people, I'll tell them, so how you host a party is you come take the bead off her neck and put it around your neck oh, and she's going to get a gift. Okay. The host will get a gift. Well, guess what that host is going to do? She's going to peer pressure her friends like nobody's business to come take these Mardi Gras beads off of her neck so she can get a gift because she wants to see what's in the bag. Okay. So by the end of the party, I would have all, th the host would have all three of her gifts and I would have three parties. I would not leave until I had a date in my calendar and a time and their phone numbers, of course, and we were moving on to the next one. So that is a way that you can grow in other people's networks. You guys, when I moved to my town, I knew like, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anybody. Nobody knew me. I wasn't from here. I have two stoplights in my town. How I grew so quickly was in other people's networks. Is it uncomfortable? Eh, a little bit. Did I pull up to strangers' house and I didn't know what I was going into and I texted my husband like, here, I'm at this address. If you don't hear from me in an hour, um, send some help. Yes, I've done that before, but nothing happened to me, you guys, and I, be, I became very successful. And it's a lot of fun. You have so much fun. And if you guys are too nervous to do it, take somebody with you. Take an upline. I would try to recruit my reps to come with me, and we would do them together. And it was just so much fun. So when they released that, I, in my mind, I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, I'm, it, it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And in my head, uh, I, I'm, I'm either going to do two ways. I'm either going to do the hands, but I'm most likely going to do the face, all the face, because... Um, people want a facial and wine, and it's going to make me money back on what I purchase. You guys, I'm going to make my money plus back from this because I'm going to charge like five, ten dollars per one. And I plan on signing them when I leave. And if you have four people there and they and they want to um, order, you need to look at that host and be like, now, I know you guys are all about the skincare, but you guys know I do this for a living with your four friends that want to use this, are you sure you don't want to become a promoter and make some extra money with me? Let me just touch on that for a second and very briefly talk about the business side. Um, one other way that I would book a ton of parties is lead boxes. I would put lead boxes out only in the areas that I'm okay with traveling to for parties. So obviously my local area, maybe an out area 20, 30 miles away, you know, with wherever you're comfortable with driving for a party, I'd put lead boxes out. It could have a before and after picture of the facial, something that'll make people stop, and then a sign that says enter to win. I would put these at convenience stores, Mexican restaurants. It was so weird. All of my stuff always went to Mexican restaurants. But anyways, convenience stores, Mexican restaurants, salons, uh, boutiques, oh um, insurance agencies, you know, anywhere you want. And I would go and pick them up. Sometimes I would only have two leads. Sometimes I would have seven. Every single one of them would win a free facial and wine party. Uh, on Facebook, you're doing giveaways. What about if they're local to you, can you give them a facial and wine party? So that's how I booked a ton of mine. Guys, one of the stats that they gave us this weekend was, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, that in person people have to hear it like six times, but online they have to hear it like 200. Yeah. Was that the right stat? And so, six, yeah. what was it? 200 to six. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. So I get... For some of you, you're like, I'm never going to do that. That's okay. I'm going to tell you something else you can do. At expos, at events, um, at festivals, at fairs, you know, things like that, you can have this set up. And if they come to you and you take dead skin off their hand right there, not only is that going to be a showstopper and make people be like, hold on a second, I want dead skin taken off my hand. And, you know, even if you're not trying to sell them there on the spot, but they enter your lead box that's right there for you to follow up with them later, this is an incredible way for you to get a ton of leads, for you to follow up with later. I'm telling you, if you step into that party field where you're face to face with people, your business can explode so fast. You are leaving these parties with customers and promoters every single night you do them. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. And they kept saying this weekend, May to May, May to May. So that makes me think like, 
why, like why May to May, like what is going to be happening in these next 12 months? I just know that I want to get extremely aggressive. I want to get outside my comfort zone. I want to grow with them. And um, yeah, my May to May, it's going to be full of me getting extremely uncomfortable, but I know, like I know things are going to blow up and I want to be a part of it. So yeah, that's all. That's all I got. Well, also he kept saying, fill your calendar. What's in your calendar? What's in your calendar? What's in your calendar? Okay, what do I need to put on my calendar, sir? Um, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Let me put on my calendar. <laughs> um, so like that was huge too. Um, but one thing talking about, and I know I'm about to know all my notes are all over, but that's also how it is in my brain. It's like this all the time. Um, anyway, going back to the Thrive experience and talking about, you know, your morning of, one thing they said was stop talking about vitamins. Stop talking about minerals. People are bored with that. People are like, oh, vitamins. You know, I get those at Walmart. I take those from Walmart. Talk about the solution. Talk about the solution that you have. You need this because you need to feel this way. Always go to like a solution with it. And um, I love his, his sense of urgency of like just being a go-getter. If you guys listen to Paul, he is a talker, but he is a red, 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 red. Just trust me. Just trust me. Just trust me uh, is what his famous words are. Um, but um, he, go after those people you want, you guys. You never know unless you send that message. You never know what somebody's going on in their personal life unless you send that message. And I know we say that all the time, but you guys, even today, today I went to Chastity's house. She opened up her house today for anyone that was around that wanted to come and just eat and hang out. And I didn't realize I live as close as to her as I did, um, what she tried to tell me before, but I only live like an hour and 45 minutes from her. And we went there today and I got to see her house. You know, we see pictures of her house, but you guys, you don't know until you're there. That thing is freaking gorgeous. Her house is gorgeous inside and out. It, I feel like I walked into a dang magazine. And Chastity, if she's on this thing, like, your house is amazing. But, like, it smells good. The pool, the work she's having done, the things she's having peeled. Like, it was the biggest house in the damn, dang subdivision. And here's the thing. Like, she told me, like, if I can, if I can, why can't you? Why can't, why can't you have that? Why can't, why can't I have that? The only thing that holds us back from getting that is ourselves. So take this excitement of this new product we have, and not only our new product, you guys, we're getting extreme men's and women's capsules. If the regular men's and women's capsules drive experience can do what it's done for us now, can you even imagine what the extreme is going to do? You guys, I'll never sleep. I'll just be like this all day. That's what that will be me. Like, that's crazy. Like, we can run with this, and you guys can have, and I can have what Amanda has. You guys and I can have what Kayla has. They're 200K, but there's no difference in them and us. The only thing is, they've taken more chances. They've messaged more people. They've stepped out of their comfort zone. So take that excitement of what we have. We have a brand new product that can take us to a whole nother market, okay? A whole nother, a whole nother planet. And just run with it and go for it because there's no difference in them and there's than us. Not at all. Oh um, my gosh. Like you guys just lit some fire. And I just want to add, I used to always throw those on bulletin boards um, at the grocery stores. I would put um, little things where they could peel off if they were interested. Um, sometimes I'd put you know, cards or whatever, but give away things. You guys, you can actually order lead generation boxes if you don't want to make them, but you can make them out of shoe boxes, whatever, um, and decorate them up just to like information. You just want to have a really good picture um, of whatever it is. And that's one of the things that we did have, you know, a little bit of struggle with, with Thrive, like with talking about the supplements was that there's not, people want to see. Um, and, and the thing is with Thrive is that you feel so with this, it's something that you can see, you know, and that, that is going to, it's just going to branch into that other um, realm of things. And listen, guys, I am not a party person, but this girl's about ready to put up some stuff, not today, 
Um, but I'm going to be putting up stuff as soon as I get my product in hand, I'm going to go live with it and I'm going to show it and I'm going to book parties. Like that's what my plan of action is. That's how I plan on introducing it to people. And I can assure you that I can almost guarantee Kayla and Tillis are going to do the exact same things um, just because they know that that is what is going to get attention and that is what is going to grab. If you are a guy, um, what I would do is I would just get on there and do it because let me tell you what, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, guys want to look hot too and guys want to have look younger too. They want to look good and you guys just as well. I mean, you might be th uh, loving the product, but these these products are also just for you. Like my husband, like he might not admit it, until he's drunk or something. Okay. But he totally likes some skincare. All right. And he totally likes some good smell and body wash and good smell and shampoo. So I'm telling you, this is like just the beginning. And, and, you know, Drew's words today were, you know, he's excited for what's coming in the days to come, the weeks to come, the months to come. And I can assure you guys, um, that it's going to blow our minds because we're going to have continuous releases the rest of the year of new things coming out. And my suggestion to you is whatever you're excited about, that's what you talk about. All right. Whatever you're excited about, that's what you talk about. If it's the skincare, great. If it, if you've got a new Thriver, don't make them talk about the skincare if that's not what they're passionate about. If they're passionate about the Thrive Experience, have them talk about the Thrive Experience. You guys, we didn't have any skincare for me to get to a million dollars. So you sure as hell don't have to sell, sell skincare to get to a million dollars. So I just want you to understand, but I'm going to tell you right now, there's going to be people that just focus on skincare and they're going to go to a million dollars. So you get passionate about whatever it is that you're excited about and then you run with it. My kid just came down here and she said, mom, um, I told her, that's why you guys didn't see my video. Cause I was like, hug in and give my daughter, talk to my daughter, talking about her day. You know, she was like, I told her about dropping my award today. And she's like, well, she's like, that's kind of funny, mom. Funny. No, it wasn't effing funny, Layla. I said, it wasn't funny. She said, well, I mean, it does kind of fit you. You did say on stage that you're a hot mess. And I said, that is true, child. That is true. So your kids pay attention, guys. They pay, to they pay attention to you. This is something that in two years, I can't wait to have my daughter part of. I cannot wait to have her part of this. I cannot wait to have her education completely 100% paid for it because of Thrive. I cannot wait to have Leah's education when she gets to college completely paid for with Thrive. I cannot tell you guys how incredible this is. Maria shared, she's an eight figure earner, how four weeks ago her life was rocked. Stacy mentioned this last night too. Um, her son was diagnosed with type one diabetes. It was a very scary situation for the rest of his life. He's going to have that diagnosis and you know, treatments are not cheap. Things being there, just the supplies, everything all around. Any of you guys that are diabetics, you know, um, it is not a cheap diagnosis. It is a very scary diagnosis. Lots can go wrong. Um, and the reality of it is, is that her and her husband didn't have to worry about calling an ambulance. They didn't have to worry about being there, taking time off. They were able to come to their team and be like, look, guys, this is where we are. And people were able to all chip in and come together and, you know, somebody else promoted to 200K that night. And Maria was like, I'm sorry, I couldn't be there. But the reality of it is, is that you guys, this gives you options. This gives your kids options in their future. And one time somebody asked um, Maria what it is that she did with all of her money. And you want to know what she does? She invested. She's got four kids. She invested in all of her four kids, all of her four kids, grandkids, future grandkids. Okay. Like I want to be that way. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to pay um, just like Chastity Marie. I'm sure she, you guys maybe know, I don't know. But anyways, she paid off her house. She bought her pool with cash. She paid for this building in cash. She doesn't want to go into debt. I don't want any of you guys to go into debt. I just like, I will not tell you to buy the 800 kit if you are not planning on selling mini experiences. Okay. You don't plan on selling mini experiences, by the way, you've got two hours left to do that. Um, you can get 32 mini experiences with $800 kit. You're going to get double uh, unit level commissions. My husband is an 80K, but only qualifying at 40K. And you better believe I bought a kit under him today. You better believe I bought a kit for the next four months over those summer months. You better believe I want him getting unit level commissions doubled. All right. So knowing that Amanda's going to be selling some minis, you can get 32 three day mini experiences or 16 six day mini experiences. Correct, Kayla? Alyssa, you guys are the math whiz. Okay. Um, I mean, Kayla was a math teacher, guys. 
So I'm going to ask her about that kind of stuff. But for real, like you honestly, 100%, if you can do it, I would do it because only if you can make your money back. All right. By selling minis. And that means you're going to have to hustle for it. Um, something that I believe it was Brittany Haynes. I was talking to her today and what she did was she's got a couple girls that want to get started in this business. So she got the 400 or she got the $800 upgrade kit and her girl, she cut them a deal to get their first month, her new promoters to get their first month thrive experience. All right. So she sold it to them for 120 boom, boom, boom. Now they've got the product that they can pre-sell and get their minis out as well. Isn't that a cool idea? I thought that was a cool idea. So um, I just had to share that, Brittany. That was awesome. I'm sure you're on right now. So I just wanted to share that because it was like, you hear these little tips, guys, when you're talking to people, you have to start listening. That was something that's huge on stage as well. When you listen, you can follow up 100% better. When you listen, right? Because then when your follow-up is based on what you heard and what it is that they want, and like Talissa said, their solution. All right. So you guys, this was a fired up, excited, excited, excited Zoom tonight um, with tons and tons and tons of ideas. We're going to have so many more to come over the next few weeks. I just want to congratulate. We had a crap ton of promotions. I can't even shout everybody out. Um, right now, we had a lot of new promoters. I'm super excited. Um, Joe, welcome to the team, buddy. I'm super excited that you decided to hop on board. You guys, um, in case you don't know, um, if you get your husbands there, like for the women that are on, for the men that are on, um, we had lots of husband and wives that came this time. Um, but I'm going to tell you, there's something about it whenever you get into this environment, you're like, why the hell not us? Like, why not us? I mean, my husband, I took him to two getaways and now he's like, why didn't I go to Dallas? And every single person was like, where's Donnie? So I'm like, okay, well, like, I guess you can come to Jamaica with me, I guess, you know, cause listen, did you hear that? Did you hear what I just said? I have to qualify for Jamaica as well. What, did you hear any hesitation in my voice if I was going to be in Jamaica? Hell no, I'm going to be in Jamaica. You better believe it. All inclusive party with my friends. I'm there and I will be having a drink then, right? Because this time it was a bad idea for Amanda to have a drink because I went to bed afterwards. Um, but anyways, um, I love you guys and I'm super proud of every single one of you. I'm proud of you guys for being on the Zoom tonight. And I want, I'm going to be pulling in some different leaders over the next few weeks um, because I think that we could really benefit from bouncing different ideas and hearing some different voices, um, as well as our leaders that are on our team. Um, I just want to get, I don't care, just anybody that sparks something inside of me that says, hey, I've got something to say. I'm going to say, hey, you want to be a guest? Because <laughs> I think you're awesome. But anyways, let's go out there. Let's crush this week. It's Monday. Um, most people are either home today or tomorrow from conference and let's just run with it. You know, tomorrow's the last day of the month. If you have any waiting room things, make sure you know your waiting room times. If you need help with that, please do not message me if you have no promoters in your waiting room. Please do not message me if you have no promoters in your waiting room, how to work your waiting room. Okay. If you have promoters in your waiting room with volume, all right, because we're talking about like end of the month time with volume and you have people that are close to promoting, shoot me a message. If you're unclear, shoot your upline a message. If they're unclear, shoot me a message. Okay. Um, I will help you. I will look at it. I will dig. There's lots of you that are very, very close to promoting. So do not let off that gas pedal. There's lots of you that are nowhere near close to promoting. Keep on running because next month you're going to follow up with those customers that you get at the end of this month and they are going to add volume next month when they reorder. So save some of your credits, maybe offer them um, like Amanda Campos does. She always offers free shipping for her customers when they reorder um, by shooting them $15 in credits. Okay. So I love you guys and have an amazing night. Mwah.